everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Card Dungeon. Card Dungeon is a indie roguelike. Actually, pretty close to the standard roguelike style as opposed to roguelite or anything else. Anyway, so I'm just going to start uh, doing things while we get into the game. So, uh, these are the perks and, uh, I guess, negatives. So, perk I picked is cards last longer. Negative is... Uh, Negative is that I can only buy things once in a shop. I can get into that in a bit, but honestly, uh, that's like the only macro customization available in the game, unlike, you know, say Rogue Legacy, for example, where you can, hello, hey, boots that increase my health by three. Not actually that useful, but still. Um, but so, you unlock those, like, in the game by finding knowledge gems. But let's actually talk about the game before, before you know, talking about the things that you unlock along the way. I'm gonna start trying to get some stuff here. Okay, so the entire premise of the game is you have you have three cards in your hand. These three cards are your attacks, your spells, your whatever. Oh, thank you. That's exactly the card I was looking for. And super early in the game. That means this review might actually be comparatively short, which is good. Because brevity is the soul of wit, or I guess just, you know, people being interested in the game. So... Uh, you move around. Uh, on, honestly, I'm not entirely sure how the movement mechanics exactly work, but as odd and confusing it is, as it is, it actually works out fairly well. Uh, it's set everything on fire. This is my favorite card. It's called Fire Pit, but it's really just the floor is lava. Let's not kid ourselves here. I'm trying to get this guy to... Thank you. Burn, baby, burn. Okay, so why why is the floor why is Flora's lava so good? Seeing as I'm talking about it, it does. Hey, bunch of doom! I'll take that instead of shock blast. Absolutely, and get over here, which is not useful. Okay, uh, Flora's lava. Anytime a person moves onto that tile, they take three damage. They're also set on fire, where they take three damage per turn. On top of that, it's incredibly powerful. Whoa, really? I've already found the boss for the level. There are like eight dungeons in the game. And each dungeon has uh, three levels in it, I think. Could be more than that. I've only ever done the first dungeon over and over and over again. Uh, as I'm trying to perfect this review because I've been on vacation. Yada, yada, yada. Um, level complete. I think that was, what, the third monster I, I killed? And we've already... Alright, fine. Uh, <laughs> honestly, not that big of a deal. So I want to I wanna stand right here. Please stand directly in front of... All right, I'm not even going to pretend to understand exactly what happened there. But that's not the end of the world. Okay, now let's just punch these things, and I'll talk about them in a second. Okay, uh, but so Fire Pit just sets everything on, on fire and does, like, crazy damage. Let's take quick rest instead of heal. I'll just leave that in the back. Take Cleaving Hit. Perfect. We're actually getting some really solid cards right off the bat. Okay, uh, but so... Why am I constantly cycling things? A, because all of these cards are better. B, because cards actually decay. Uh, so these these are effectively your abilities, not quite your equipment, but like these are your attacks. You have no other way of attacking. So if you run out of these cards, you're effectively doomed. Uh, it's not exactly the end of the world, but it, it really does actually hurt quite a lot if you can't get, you know, if you're constantly just running around with bad cards. It's part of the reason why I picked the lam Laminate perk. Uh, that I unlocked earlier. Punch of Doom pushes them back. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Mainly because I haven't used it yet, and also I think it's going to work a little bit better. I'm looking for a specific... Nope, that's garbage. Looking for a specific healing move. I'm looking for, like, a number of specific spells, and seeing as we've already cleared, cleared the level, I can do whatever I want. Uh, oddly enough, these tiles on the floor look like they're traps. Half the time, they're not anything. They just look like it for some mysterious reason. No idea why. Uh, but let's see. So you're effectively going through clearing, clearing each room for treasure. Treasure almost always is this. You do find equipment in this game. Uh, if I pull out my equipment bag, you can see that I've got a helmet slot, gloves, chest, belt, pants, shoes, and weapon. And there are more than just swords in this game. You also have money, and you can also see what your you know perk and your drawback is. Uh, for the most part, you don't need to take a look at them, but why not? Okay, we don't need teleport trap. That just teleports enemies around. I do actually like the teleport burst. Okay. Wow. That's really good. All right. Uh, goodbye, Punch of Doom. Hello, explosions. 
I'm the fire master, apparently. Uh, okay. But, as far as spells go, there are... They advertise this game having about a thousand. I don't know if that's... Well, I, I'm going to take their word for it, seeing as they made the game. But, I'm not entirely sure how unique all of them are. There are a number of different cards that seem to have different attributes, depending on, like... I guess just pure randomness. So, you know, some, some cards will do two damage, some cards will do seven. Uh, and they'll probably end up having, like, the same name, too, which is kind of confusing. Uh, but I don't mind it too much. Um, but I, I'm, I'm very, I'm very interested in finding out if those are considered unique cards in the whole thousand card estimation or not. But, like, unlike Hand of Fate, I think you start with all, all of, like, every single card unlocked in the game. Uh, so there, there's no, like, unlocking cards, there's no customizing your deck. Things, these things I actually really wish were in the game, because I think that would actually introduce a huge amount of, um, that uh, it would introduce a huge amount of, like, customization to the point where you're like, oh, you know, I want, I want to keep playing this game to get more cards so I can keep, so I can keep going. Uh, and, you know, get, like, a really, really powerful deck. Okay. So, interesting. There's Floor of Lava and Fire Pit. Okay, this is what I'm talking about with get with cards that do almost the same thing. In this case, we've got Fire Pit, which does 3 damage to any creature that steps on it, and they're set on fire for 4 turns. Floor of Lava is 2 damage when they step on it, and set on fire for 2 turns. I'm going to get rid of Quick Rest, because at this point, I don't seem to need any healing abilities. Uh, but I think those are considered unique cards, even though they're virtually identical, which is a shame. Um, and I hope that they didn't pad out the, the spell book too much with that, because I, I, I don't know, that, that'd just be kind of limiting and dumb. But, uh, so the other thing I really haven't talked about in this game is cards break on you, actually. So as, as you're progressing through the dungeon, your cards will deteriorate. This isn't super obvious from my base gameplay, just because I really haven't actually killed a whole lot of things here. This is actually kind of disappointing... Um, just how how few enemies have actually had to fight on the first level at this point. I'm just running around looking for tre uh, for treasure, so, seeing as some of the treasure is actually really powerful. Considering we're running around with two of the most powerful spells in the game, right off the bat. I mean, they could actually be way worse, or they could actually be way less useful later on. I have no idea. But right now, they're absurdly powerful. And there's also a uh, a version of Floor of Lava that actually affects like a 3x3 three three grid, which is absurd. Let's just burn him. Okay, so we've cleared the floor out of almost no monsters, because there's nothing here. Actually kind of su surprising. Leaping Strike. I attack all around you and then move two tiles. That feels kind of backwards to me, but still. Okay, Healing Fruits, don't need that. And Unholy Word. Okay, this we actually need. Oh, it's... <sighs> Let's get rid of Floor of Lava. Floor of Lava is good, but we already have Fire Pit. And Unholy Word is actually one of the best healing healing spells in the game, especially if you've got Laminate. Like, you can go an entire dungeon and only use it like three times, which is absurd. And it brings you back up to health, because you're effectively trading mana, which is an infinite resource, for health, which is a finite resource, as, as like, a, a laminated crusader here. And, I mean, this probably doesn't make too much sense, but it'll make more sense as you go along. Oh, interesting, those lava pits do actually disappear after a while. That's good to know, because I, I never was on a level long enough to check to see if they disappear after a while. I don't know why the crusader's saying no, but it doesn't matter that much. Okay, seeing as we're here, and I mentioned I was going to talk about these guys a little bit. So we've got this, like, stupid little rat-looking thing, and we've got these bats over here. <clears throat> as long as you're within, like, a room or two's proximity of these things, they will consistently move. Oh, interesting, they fall asleep after a certain point. They will consistently move, which isn't the end of the world, but it ends up slowing down the game substantially. And I get really grumpy as a result of it, because effectively, this thing's presence makes my game slower. And I do and I effectively to kill it have to use my one of my spell cards just to uh just to take it out of the out of the mix. 
And like if you, you even if you're running laminated, the, those are still you know very valuable spell casts that you'd rather not spend on these things. So if you could just pummel them to death, with you know just your bare fists at the very least, that'd be nice. Because I think this game actually would be better if all cards had much more limited uses, but you had like a basic attack that you could rely on. Uh, because that way you can be a little bit more, you know, conservative with your actual spells. Shoot, let's just move forward. Please, yeah, mmm. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Maybe Summoner Man will be... will move as soon as the turtle dies. It's hard to tell. Okay, can I teleport here? Yes, I can. Alright, burn, baby, burn! Oh, and he should die pretty quick. Hopefully he moves. Probably not going to. Let's see. How else are we going to do this? See if I can get him to like back away from me. So don't know how long he's gonna be burning for. He might burn for one more turn. Eh, but his minion's not. Let's just teleport burst again. Did oh shoot, I moved. Uh, let's see. He's out of that. I'd rather use tel per burst the. I. Okay. Well, I miss managing these things, but that's okay. Teleport burst is actually fairly powerful, but not as powerful as Flora's lava. Maybe. Okay, that's that's worthless. There's a difference between unholy ground and unholy word. One saps stuff from people that walk on it, the other converts men into health. And there's a serious difference. Oh, shoot, I was really hoping that uh the fox I guess it's a fox. It's a weirdly rabid dungeon fox, but still. Oh, it's a dire fox. There we go. Uh sneaky like a fox, no, not sneaky, deadly. Um, so, I I guess, interjection here, <clears throat> but, uh, everything has flavor text. Every spell, every enemy, every piece of equipment, and a couple other things. Uh, so, in this case, it's got, you know, kind of a basic actual description, but also a comical one. Which is nice. You know, Fire Pit has, hear my prayers, lords, and set this floor on fire. Uh, unholy word is, never make a deal with a demon, they lie, and teleport burst, fire everywhere! Fire everywhere! Super satisfying. Well, they had a they had a Minsk Boo reference there. That's cute. All right, so we don't need to teleport self. Acid bath. Yes. Goodbye, teleport burst. Hello, more tile-based combat. And a knowledge gem. Knowledge gems are used for unlocking perks along the way. Flaming torch. Grab a torch, toss it to your enemy. He'll catch on fire. Pause for three turns. Next, doing it to the flames while taking damage. It's tempting. It's really tempting, but what I already have is more than good enough. Okay, so let's just get out of here. I actually kind of wish you could carry around more cards, like put them in your inventory or something like that. But they only have like, you know, three uses instead of 20. Ah, uh, but you know what? That's that's not that important anyway. And more healing, even though I don't need it. I might just get rid of Unholy Word, seeing as I don't need it that much. Ah, uh, but so, uh, flavor text... I actually really appreciate the whole flavor text thing, and that kind of goes along with uh, one of my major points about this game. This game reminds me about if you took Munchkin and turned it into a game, uh, in, into like a computer game. I And I actually think that's a brilliant way of doing things. It's actually really fun. Okay, so let's acid bath here. And fire pit here. Unfortunately, this means as if I'm going to want to get by, I don't have teleportation, so I'm effectively just going to let this guy walk at me. Oh, in retrospect, that could have gone better. Here's the question. Does he take more acid damage? Oh, he does. Okay, well, that's good to know. Let's see if I can... Oh, hey, I can go around. Okay. Well, let's just, let's just acid bath him again, because Fire Pit is probably more useful along the way. Okay, uh, and the portal is directly on top of one of my lava pits. Go figure. But, as far as, like, the munchkin things go, it doesn't quite have, like, the same equipment management. It doesn't have quite the same Stark. Stark, Snark. I think I mentioned that this, hey, more knowledge gems. I, th I think I mentioned that this, this game feels like a, <laughs> I just said it, but fighting a boss always distracts me from what I'm supposed to be talking about. Oh, thank you. Oh, I think he's gonna... Walk in the next acid pit. Like a dingus! There we go. Okay, but, you know, this game feels kind of like if you took a really good... Hello, summon demon. 
That's tempting. Yeah, let's take it. Goodbye, fire pit. Hello, demon. Let's hope he's actually good. Uh, last time I tried summoning something, it didn't work out great. Um, but, you know, it doesn't have quite the same level of snark, and it doesn't have quite the same level of quality, but at the same time, it has the humor, it has the... It has a really nice, you know, dungeon aesthetic, and really, it just is fun to play, and I'm, I'm hoping that, uh... Let's summon, summon me a demon right there! Demon, do things! Damn. Oh, that was eviction. I thought, I thought it actually killed something. No, it just teleported it away. Don't cast eviction, just kill them. Uh, but you know, the kind of cartoony style. I, okay, so that that's something I need to talk about. Uh, but you know, the, the kind of cartoony style, the humor sensibilities, and just, you know, the dungeon crawling as, aesthetic. Of course, it's not competitive, so there's that. Uh, but you know what, it's not the end of the world. I think it would actually be kind of cool if there's like a, a daily run type setup in this game. I think that would be a neat way of handling things. I want that turtle to step on the acid bath, if I can get it to do so. Come on, turtle. Okay, so demons, not super great. Let's find some replacement cards if I can get them. Like, it kind of works, but it's not, it, it doesn't really sick them to the extent that I wish it would. Okay. Um, but so, I mentioned style. So this game, Unholy Ground, not what we want. This game has an interesting... Hey, Acid Bottle. Two splash damage, pool of acid. Alright, works for me. Uh, not quite this, not quite as good as uh, the fire thing, but it's close enough. For the time being. Let's just murder these guys. <clears throat> it looks like we've got plenty of victims, so that's always good. Um, let's see, Acid Bottle him? Yeah! And then I can Acid Bat the other guy. Oh, no, I thought for a second we took out the dog. Actually, you know what? I could probably just continuously acid bottle that same area. Can I Can I not? All right. And I missed completely. That's frustrating. Okay, but style-wise, so the 3D is actually really good in this game. You know, the texturing, the, the modeling. It has, you know, a definitive style to it that I actually really appreciate uh, seeing. Unfortunately, the 2D, on the other hand is a little bit more limited, it's a little bit more uh, low quality. I'm gonna say, like, I feel kind of like a jerk for saying this just because, you know, as, as somebody that does artwork and, well, I mean, as as an artist, I hate it when somebody insults my own art, but the, the 3D and the 2D, even though the, both are fairly simple, the 3D feels really cut dry and clean, whereas the 2D feels like kind of like, a, well, we're doing this in a card style, so it clearly should be two-dimensional, and I feel like that was actually kind of the wrong way to go. I'm just going to repeatedly acid bath this guy. We don't have very good direct damage abilities. I need to f need to fix that. I miss setting things on fire. Um, But so, let's see, golden jewels, heal, shield storm. Nope, that's useless. And nothing. Great. Uh... But it feels like they, they wanted to do 2D just for the sake of two, doing 2D instead of, you know, having an artist that was actually really good at it. And again, feel kind of bad for saying it that way. Ah, shoot. He's just out of range. Please don't move. Just throw more sand at me or something. Ah, that also works. And I didn't miss. Perfect. Okay, so everything trying to get at me is just going to die here. So let's just, let's just take a breather. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with a turtle, but still. Um, but so, you know, the card art itself is kind of, kind of bad. The, the hands. I, I'm gonna slowly zoom in on the Crusader here. And, like, he's not the worst illustration I've ever seen. But his, I mean, his, his legs are just kind of that, like, doughy leg of somebody that really doesn't know, uh, that hasn't done, you know, like, too much anatomical studies yet. He's got the whole, like, tube arm, tube leg thing going on. On, and, I mean, his foot is... There's no foot. There's there's just that. Poison dart. Deals damage over four turns. I'll take it instead of acid bottle. Because that does a lot of damage. Hello, fire pit! Oh, good god, that does a lot of damage. Never mind! Alright, everything is... Everything is the pits. And I'm totally okay with that. I'm just gonna use... Uh, I'm gonna try and use acid bath on this turtle thing. If I get the chance. There we go. 
everybody gets to bathe in acid, and we don't care about that. Hopefully I can get, like, a fireball or something on the next... next door. Uh, but so... I, I don't know. I, I'm being a snooty artist here, but I, I really wish that, uh... Actually, everything was done in 3D. Because, like, it's kind of hard to see, but, like, the, the 3D modeling and the texturing put it put into these, these like, wall textures, while repetitive, is nice looking. Uh, that's not going to let me do it very well, but we're going to come over to these mushrooms. Yeah, see, the problem is the, mo the moment I let go of any way, shape, or form, I'm just going to spin around these mushrooms while moving. Yeah, because the moment I stop holding on to any of these... It immediately zips back to the Crusader. All right, let's stop that because that's gonna make me sick. Um, but the mushrooms over there are actually really, really well modeled and really well textured, and that's that's the main reason why I'm, I complain about this because it feels like whomever did the 3D actually really knew what they were doing, and the person who did the 2D really didn't. Unless it's the same person, then why why the heck did you do this in 2D? Because you're way better at 3D from what I can tell. Um, and I mean, at this point, I'm speaking to the developers in kind of a condescending manner. Uh, which, I mean, feels weird. And, of course, I'm stunned. Goody. Hopefully, we won't be stunned forever. Acid bath. Thank you. Okay, and then we're going to hide around a corner. And hopefully they'll come say hi. Ah. Uh, but, so, I don't know. It, it just feels like the, the 3D could have been handled a heck of a lot better than it was. Or, not 3D, the 3D, 2D stuff. Thank you, Acid Bath. Even though it's probably about to run out. But, ultimately, these are just my minor details that probably most people aren't going to care about. In the slightest. Ah, uh, so there's that. How do we deal with this guy? Because, unfortunately, I don't want to go over my Acid Bath. Let's just set him on fire and then see, see what he does from there. Because he doesn't directly attack me in any way, shape, or form. And I think he'll burn to death. Unless he can somehow heal himself. Oh, well, that that worked. Okay. Uh, but, I don't know. Whatever. Sno snooty artist mode, over. I'm just... I get that way whenever I see, like, art stuff that's wildly mismatched. And the rat just killed itself. Yay! Um, but I guess seeing as we're kind of on the topic of, like, arts or whatever. Music in this game, very generic, very fantasy, very dungeon. It works. I actually like it. Uh, the more I listen to it, the more I pay attention... To it the more I kind of recognize it's like yeah this is actually not a bad soundtrack all in all uh there's a fair amount of there's a fair amount of music involved in this game which is kind of surprising oh I mentioned the mushrooms and I could keep zooming in but like it's simple but it works really well for what they are and like I'd love to actually see the developers of this make like a 3d game following that low poly style because there just aren't enough good Low poly 3D games here. I'm just trying to run out of uh, burnout acid bath for the time being. Having two ground based abilities is kind of butts. In retrospect, I could have positioned that better. Oh well. I was kind of hoping he would. Oh, you know what? I should have just sat on that tile. Eh, might, might not have actually worked there. Uh, but I don't know. The music is good. The sound effects are good. Don't want teleport shock. Healing circuit adds. Four to health and mana regeneration. Uh, is that why I'm super healthy and, like, just have not taken damage here? Because I've actually got regen? It might be. I need to damage myself. Because if that's the case, holy shit, I'm powerful. Well, let's just take a bunch of damage and see if I heal. When I walk... I do. Holy crap. This, this is the run that could go on for quite a a while if I I let it do so, which is great. And let's take the pants, because why not? Okay. Um now that I now that I've found those items, this actually changes some of the I, I originally just thought items changed your defense and nothing else. Or, you know, overall health totals. But if if items actually give you passive benefits like regeneration, that's really solid. Uh and makes a huge difference as far as I'm concerned. Okay. I was gonna use acid bath and then it poisoned itself. It'll probably die on its own. So I'll just let that happen. Let's just back away so it doesn't harm me. Oh, nope. It's not dead yet. Die! Shit. Oh, right. I was, I was going to mention this. So uh, I, I mentioned, you know, cards having durability, but it never really got to the point where it was obvious. Because Lamination, I think, doubles the uh, durability of every card you have. But uh, this is actually one of the coolest things in the game that they did. And I think this is a really nice way of handling it. 
Uh, but so as the card loses durability, the card itself looks really, really rugged and worn, and like the picture fades, and like eventually you're not even going to be able to see, you know, the, the art for it and the card's going to look really, really bad. I think that was a wonderful way of handling durability in game. They never tell you th this though, like uh, I effectively had to find out about it on my own. And I wish they had actually been a little bit more explicit with it. Maybe, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, but the first time I played through this, I was just like, where'd my card go? Why can't I attack anymore? Why am I dying? It was bad. Uh, but ultimately not the end of the world. Just kind of frustrating at the time. Uh, Lords bless me. What do I get? Oh, hey, they repaired all, they repaired all of my cards. So I, I still have acid bath. Awesome. Okay, I guess that kind of nixes the whole me destroying it thing. There's a portal here. There's the portal. Let's just open up this this item bag and then get out of here. Uh, but yeah, with all the health regen, we're going to be in a good position. And seeing as we, we've got huge mana and health regen, let's actually just not have a healing. Like, we don't need a healing spell if we've, we've got our own passive regen. That's awesome. Uh, does mean certain runs are just going to be wildly more powerful than others, but that's not the end of the world either. Uh, but let's see, anything else that I can really think of? Not really, like, th that's pretty much the gamut of it. We're going on to chapter three here. Uh, oh, right, shops. I mean, shops are kind of a meaningless little, uh, deal, but I might as well talk about it. Uh, so my, my, my negative is the fact that I can only, only buy from this guy once. Of course, I don't even have enough money to buy for, from him at all, so there's that. Let's hope for some treasure. Tre treasure. There we go. Perfect. Great timing. Let's go with the health upgrade, seeing as we... I mean, might as well. Um, but so... Wow. That's a lot of health, too. Don't want a depth beast. In fact, I should probably actually hold off on opening any of these things, just in case we run into durability issues or have to make uh, tough decisions card-wise. Uh, but overall, this game actually is a lot of fun. It's got a lot of depth in it now that, I, now that I'm getting into it and playing it repeatedly. And that means actually really good things, especially for a, ga for a game that's effectively just a mobile port. I I really do tend to look down on games that are mobile ports, but this game is a high enough quality game that I'm actually I'm impressed, regardless uh, mobile or otherwise. In fact, I'm more impressed that this is a mobile port because uh, most mobile ports games are kind of shallow and kind of boring. This one actually is kind of fun. And, like, I want to play more of it. I, I really wish there were some levels of customization, you know, intent, stuff like that. But, oh well, not the end of the world. Shoot. I was really hoping I was going to trap him with that. Freaking Sandman. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see if I can get him out one more. Thank you. Because now I can get by him. Acid for you. Uh, but no, it's a very good game, and I actually would highly recommend this to anybody that likes roguelikes in any way, shape, or form. Um, <clears throat> I think the easiest roguelikes that I could compare it to, maybe, maybe, maybe Shattered Planet, even though I think Shattered Planet was, uh, you know, way less diverse than this game was. Um, but apart from that, I would say a good example would be, in a way, Dreadmore. Like, Dreadmore had a lot of the same kind of the humor, the the quality and stuff like that. Let's just set him on fire. He'll die next turn. I'll take it. a hit. He didn't even get the chance to hit me. That's confusing, but I, I'm not going to complain about it. Okay. Oh, let's see. Stabby Dagger does, like, no damage. Yeah, status effects are, are massive damage dealers in this game. It's odd. Usually I just ignore sta status effects in games. But in this one, it's brutal. Uh, I guess Froggy would, I guess... Uh, Sproggywood is also kind of a good comparison, though I think this game is, uh, even better than Sproggywood. Even though Sproggywood could get kind of lulzy at times. This one feels like it's going to be deeper and more tactical and just more interesting to play. Uh, because of the way it handles resource mechanics. And, honestly, to me, that's really good. Uh, which means I'm going to be playing this more. Now, now that I've recommended this game, uh, I would actually recommend people play it on... I would actually recommend people play it on mobile, of all things. It's $4 on the Android market, and it's $4, I believe, on iOS as well. And the reason why is it's $10 on Steam. As far as I can tell, there's no difference between the two. Now, it could be wrong about this, and, I mean, if I am, 
Uh, somebody correct me in the comments, but I believe there's no microtransactions in this game whatsoever, which means he dies. Uh, which means y y you're effectively getting the same game on Steam for $6 more, and what you're effectively getting is a slightly prettier package, uh, probably runs a little bit smoother, and you have a little bit more control. Don't need that. Don't need, don't need that. But ultimately, like, that's not enough, I would say, for, for the $6, but that's my opinion. Uh, but I, I would recommend this if you liked uh, traditional style RPGs, or you like tactical uh, RPGs. This is actually probably one of the better tactical roguelikes I've ever played, which is really cool. I'm also getting achievements at the wazoo, so I get the feeling they did not expect people to play this game that much, which is kind of depressing in a way. Okay, so we're gonna have... Well, you know what? Why, why can't I... Alright, let's just lay the acid bath there. And I'll back up if I... I can't back up. Can I... Okay, I... why can't I acid... That was confusing, I couldn't acid bath directly next to me for whatever reason. Well, let's just let everything die. Thank you. Um... But, I don't know. I, I actually, I think this is a wonderful game. And I'm going to keep playing it. <clears throat> I keep kind of going back and forth on my head. And it's like, do I want to keep playing it? It's a little bit slow, but honestly, it's fun. And that's the main thing. I'm, I'm definitely going to try and play it to the point where, hey, here's the boss. Perfect. So I can show off my, uh, my tactical skills here. Alright. So can I see him? I don't know if I can see him or not can't. Let's just start acid bathing everything. I'm just going to predict that my acid bath is going to break fairly soon. And it fizzled. Damn. Oh yeah, one unfortunate thing. When you miss, fizzle, or stunned, or anything of the sort, your your cards will just automatically uh, get busted up. Alright. No! Well, let's just set him on fire. At this point, I don't think he can even harm me, considering my health regen is so high. Let's just surround ourselves with acid baths and stuff. I don't know what his plan was, but it didn't work out well for him. Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Haas, uh, so let's grab treasure. Because all of this stuff, tran not transcends, but transfers between dungeons. Can I not loot that bag? Sometimes you run into bags that you can't. Oh, hello, bloodbath. Yeah, we're taking that. Goodbye, acid bath. Hello, bloodbath. And let's get out of the dungeon, seeing as we've actually got exactly all of what we need. Okay, uh, but that's the extent of it. I'm going to be playing this game more, obviously. I mean, I've already declared not my undying love love for it, but my general appreciation therefore, thereof. Because uh, it's fun. It's well done. And overall, I mean, it's got a lot of style and panache. Oh man, we didn't even find the sombrero. There is literally an item in this game that gives you a plus 100 panache. Panache does nothing for you. But I don't care. It's fun to run around with a sombrero on. Anyway, uh, if you like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, please leave me a like. It helps more than you know. Uh, if you know things that I don't, if you have any questions or whatever, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want to see more uh, card dungeon, roguelikes, indie games, or otherwise, uh, hit subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot of these, especially this game. Like, this game is fun. I don't know if it's going to be like a really, really long lasting series on my channel, but at the very least it's going to be long lasting enough that I'm going to beat that dragon up there. Look at him, snooty bastard. I'm gonna kick him in the face with my fire pit. Hopefully you can burn the dragon. I know that doesn't make any sense, but I'm crossing my fingers because I'm not sure how I'm gonna kill him otherwise. So I will actually see you guys on the next episode of Card Dungeon or any other indie impressions videos or no videos at all if you don't feel like watching me anymore. Uh, that's fine too. But uh, either way, I'll see you guys then. And as always, thanks for watching.